Smoker points the drone at his friend. The view below the drone looks like the moon. Barren. Cratered. Cold. Gloomy. What happens in this scene? Where a Ukrainian drone engages a pair of demoralized Russian soldiers is equally bleak and an important microcosm for Russia's broader war against Ukraine as the conflict approaches its third bloody year. This is a story of terror, cowardice, betrayal, ruthless determination, and exploding heads. A grenade-carrying drone from Ukraine's State Border Security Service locates two lone Russian soldiers in their shallow bunker somewhere along the 600-mile front line. Russian soldiers appear to be alone in a drone video stream recently published online by Ukrainian border guards. No other forces are visible. No air defenses or remote radio jammers interfere with the low-flying drone. Both Russians know the UAV is there. One cowers sideways, trembles and covers his head. The other sits calmly smoking a cigarette and making eye contact with the drone operator through the machine's camera. The smoking Russian points to his cowering comrade. Him. Not me. The drone operator obliges this at first as smoker watches from just a few feet away. Drone throws grenade directly at cowering soldier. Blowing his head off. Maybe the drone was just carrying a grenade. Perhaps Smoker believed that if drone dropped grenade on frightened soldier, he would live. Or perhaps the drone had multiple grenades on board and the Smoker was desperate to live just a little longer. No matter what. In any case, the ruthless Ukrainian drone operator does not spare Smokers. They line up to attack the Smokers. Either by throwing a second grenade or handing the mission over to a second drone. The Russian stands up as if supporting a potentially injured leg and manages to take a few steps. Before the drone's grenade explodes under his feet, there is cut in border agencies video that suggests time lapse as the same drone or backup plane returns to drop third grenade on Smoker, who is no longer moving. His head explodes, just as his betrayed comrade's head exploded moments ago. It's not hard to imagine what the Ukrainian drone operator was thinking. They were thinking of thousands of Ukrainian civilians elderly, pregnant mothers, frightened children whom Russians had killed in senseless war. Or they were thinking of the Ukrainian soldiers who tried to surrender near Robotine, but were shot dead by their Russian captors. The UAV operator showed no mercy because the Russians showed no mercy. And unlike the Ukrainians whose homes were destroyed, the Russians could leave Ukraine at any time and end this terrible war. His smoking and terrified companion. It is less clear what the smoker was thinking when he betrayed his terrified comrade. It is a truism of Western military philosophy that soldiers form strong bonds in battle and are motivated by love for their comrades rather than an intangible love of country or cause. This camaraderie is evid. 